Hello guys, my name is Hani. Hello guys, I'm Putri. I am Nur Kistina. Hi, my name is Alia. Hi, I'm Aisha. Today I will explain to you about the company's background. Padini is one of the heads of the multi-billion garment and textile industry in Malaysia and currently they had two multi-brands label which are Padini Concept Store along with the other eight brands. The top shareholders in company is the founder himself along with the other institutions. The company main activity is in retailing. As a listed company, Padini has included their own market segmentation based on age, gender, family size, income, occupation, and others. Second is comparative analysis, which means it is performance comparison between FTSE BM KLCI versus selected company. It showed the performance between FTSE BM KLCI vs Padini Holding Berhad from July 2020 until June 2021. Padini from July 2020 until August 2020 and October 2020 until November 2020 performance show a downtrend with a low point of negative 15.9%. Meanwhile, the KLCI index most probably maintained its performance consistent above 0% from July to November 2020 with a slight drop to negative 2% in early September 2020 but start to downtrend for a while until November 2020 with 4%. Next, the Padini stock price turned around and moved in the opposite direction which changed to bullish or uptrend. The Padini performance increased drastically from November until it reached the highest with 31.8% in April 2021. In conclusion, Padini is the best investment for the year of 2021 since Padini is a government company which is needed for all people in Malaysia. By the end of 2020 and half of a year 2021, Padini was able to create a bullish market and outperform the KCI for the majority of the time. As a result, we choose Padini because of its good performance during the pandemic outbreak while other sectors such as tourism, airlines and oil and gas drilling were affected. Next, I'm going to explain the trend analysis for Padini Holding Berhad. As you can see here, this is the overall line chart to identify the market trend lines. A line drawn on the chart by connecting the high points for downtrend low points for uptrend and price movement for sideways. Then, we go to the intermediate trend. The first one is sideways. Here is the chart when the force of supply and demand are almost equal, the sideways trend occurs. It begins from August 3, 2020 until November 6, 2020. The second one is uptrend. The progression of low points of security price continues to rise and each low points higher than previous low points. The trend line's upward slope is determined by the progression from November 9, 2020 ends on April 19, 2021. Next, we move to the minor trend. The first one is downtrend. The progression of high points of security continues to fall and each high point lower than previous high points. The trend line's downtrend slope is determined by the progression from July 1st, 2020 to July 30, 2020. Okay, the second minor trend is sideways. The trend line continues move in sideways or known as horizontal trend from April 1st, 2021 up to June 30, 2021. Next, we move to the price pattern for Padini's company. The graph above shows the first bottom start to form on 3 August 2020 and the second bottom was formed on 3 November 2020. On the right or second bottom is a sign of stop loss. The graph above shows the head and shoulder pattern has occurred. There are left and right shoulders, neckline and uptrend on the graph. The uptrend tells that the first head and shoulder pattern is shown as an uptrend. This move is extended higher and eventually it will lead to exhaustion. The longer the uptrend, the more substantial of the reversal is to be expected to happen. 
Lastly, a bullish flag pattern has formed. The price has moved upwards and it means that the graph is uptrend. The price jumps to create a flag pole. The price will go through a consolidation phase to form volatility in the price pattern. Lastly, the tracement is a sign for trader whether to enter at the bottom of the flag or at the breakout point which is at above high pattern. Hi, so today we will be focusing on the technical overlay for the Parini company. For this assignment, we will employ moving averages. Moving averages simplify the price data resulting in a trend following indicator. They do not anticipate the price direction but instead characterize the present direction with a lag. Lag is the time needed for a moving average to indicate a possible trend reversal. Even though the lag can be seen as a nuisance, moving averages enable to filter out noise that may confuse the investor. Simple moving averages SMA are calculated by averaging the prices of a security over a specified number of time periods. Most of the moving averages are based on the closing prices. The one that we use for this assignment is a 50-day SMA. The crossover rule stated that the closing price that crosses above the moving average is considered as a buy signal which is a bullish signal and vice versa for the bearish signal. Based on the diagram, we have identified that there are a few buy and sell signals from the early July in 2020 until late June 2021 by incorporating 50-day SMA. Next up, we have employed 100-day moving averages which is an intermediate term to measure the secondary trend. The time frame is from the early July 2020 until late June in 2021. From the figure that we have extracted from chart nexus, we have identified that there is a buy and a sell signal. Buy signal started to appear on 10-11-2020 where the closing price has exceeded above the moving averages. On the contrary, the sell signal starts to come into sight when the closing price has crossed below the moving average on 27-04-2021. As for the double SME, we have selected 50 and 100 day moving averages to evaluate the Parini stock price. The time frame that we have chosen is from 1st July 2020 until late of June 2021. Crossover has two rules and the first one is when a shorter average crosses above the longer average indicates a buy signal which also known as the golden cross. It implies that the trend continues to increase and vice versa for the death cross. On 13th of July 2020, the buy signal started to appear. However, we can conclude that it was a false signal as the price continues to drop and is moving in a downward trend. Death cross started to appear on 17th of August 2020. The downtrend ended on 23rd of November 2020 as the short term moving average crosses above the long term moving average. This phenomenon is more likely to be an accurate golden cross as the price had increased sharply until the late of June 2021 indicating an uptrend. Assalamualaikum, today I will be presenting trading indicators of the company Padinis. Below are the icon of buying and selling signals. We're going to look at four indicators. The first one is moving average convergence divergence, MACD. The buying signal can be seen on the red boxes marked on the chart and the selling signals can be seen on the blue boxes marked on the chart. There are four buying signals of MACD, August and November of 2020, February and May 2021. There are three selling signals, September and December of 2020 and April 2021. RSI, Relative Strength Index. There are four buying signals on August and November 2020, January and May 2021. There are also four selling signals, August and December 2020, February and April 2021. We move on to Stochastic Oscillators. There are nine times the lines touch the 20% line, three times in the year 2020, six times in the year 2021. There are 7 times the line crosses the 80% line, which is the selling signal, 2 times in the 2020, 5 times in the year 2021. Lastly, we have the Williams R% percent indicator. There are 9 times the line crosses the negative 80 line, which is the buying signal, 3 times in the year 2020, 6 times in the year 2021. There are 8 times the line reach the negative 20 line, which is the selling signal, 3 times in the year 2020, 5 times in the year 2021. These are what the indicators will show you. The last part is conclusion and recommendation. We recommend existing trader or investor to hold Padini stock. We were aiming for the Padini stock to rise this year when the COVID-19 start to slow down and Padini as a realty stock can operate as well. The reason is because analysts have said the target price for RM3.50 per share and the lowest with only RM1.90 As a result, we recommend that all investors hold the Padini stock because Malaysia still need to take time to recover its economy. Padini holding my heart technically is not looking good for a while but we believe that the Padini stock will be fine as before when the economy starts to improve. In conclusion, both existing trader and investor should hold the Padini stock until the economy is great like before COVID-19 appear. Thank, Thank you. you.